Hello, everyone. Welcome to Chicago Reacts. My name is Kelsey. And I'm Electra. And today we will be reacting to The Engoodening of No Man's Sky by Internet Historian. What do you know about No Man's Sky? Um, I wouldn't know that man if he walked <laughs> in front of me on the street, you know. No like, man you would know. No man I would know. I have I have not a clue. Let alone a sky. <laughs> I don't know. I have none of these things. Okay. I I know the game No Man's Sky. I know people were so excited about it, and mm -hmm. I know that it was kind of disappointing, but I don't know anything about the who, what, when, where, why. So let's go. Teach me, yeah. internet historian. I'm down. Sponsored by that game everyone loves. Should have warned us about the jump Science scare. <laughs> to unlock the secrets of the cosmos. Questions we once thought impossible to answer are within our grasp. Where does the sun go at night? Is math related to science? <laughs> if the My universe is so math. big, then why won't it fight me? As we look further into so the good. universe, we see light from distant stars, eons old, perhaps hundreds, even thousands of miles away. Hold Hello. on. Can I get a zoom in on that? You bet I can. This is one of the world's most powerful telescopes. Initiating six... This does not have to do with anything, but I just love that vo that like text to speech voice so much. Oh yeah, hello, good job. <laughs> this is a telescope. Um, I like the brave inclusion of the name of the stock photo, like on that person's face. They're like, "Baby, come find us." Yeah, just we're, we're good just little bits so far. Yes, very fun. <laughs> little, little tiny bits. Zoom. Can this baby do seven? I can do you one better. Maneuvering to eight times two. Pressure rising, holding steady. I can see it. Unblur. It I'm won't there. hold. Get me I can see it, the watermark times. on my face. <laughs> You're a madman. Is that Michio Kaku? Upscale it to 4K. I think it is. The helium tanks will go critical. Opening the blinds. Opening. Hold steady. Severus Snape is over there. Increasing aspect ratio. Now, Excuse punch me. it. Little wiggly. There it is. Oh, Life little on another world. Friends. And to think, we owe it all to one indie development studio. Hello, games. What did you think that was at first? You have to tell me your first initial thought. Patrick Starr from SpongeBob <laughs> cloned himself and he's doing a little dance. I was just imagining inflatable tube men. That's better. I like that. <laughs> I like that a lot. Hello, games. Hello, games. Let's start at the beginning. Cool. Let's go. Oh, I was Yeah. Wrong. It's rewind time. Upsetting. Okay. The year is 2009. <laughs> Guildford, mm -hmm. England. There's a Love man it. named Sean Murray, Hi, and Sean. he's just founded a company called Hello Games. Sean and the boys are working hard on a brand new IP and the boys. called Joe Danger. Oh, I know about that game. 2010 Ouch. AD. The game just came out. It's a success. Nice. They're a small team, but they are ambitious. Let's do something bigger, said Sean. Let's reach for the stars. How about Joe Danger 2? Brilliant. It's 2012. <laughs> Joe Danger 2 has just come out. There he goes. But, uh, Hate that to one see it. Perform as well. We need to do something even bigger than Joe Danger 2. Joe. Sorry, one of the games on there is Minecraft 18 Plus. And I <laughs> what does that imply? <laughs> what could you be making? All female Battlefield 1942. <laughs> Phone Call of Duty. Uh, I've made a phone call of duty in my life before. You know? <laughs> I'm upset that they didn't put Fallout colon boy. <laughs> you had the chance and you didn't do it. No, but those are these are very fun. Thank you so much. Again, we love details. The details are great. Danger 3? No, no. Even more 
out of this world, something no man has done before? Uh, Joe name? Danger the Mobile Game? Amazing. Yes. And that <laughs> came out in 2014. Really writing Seriously, guys, Joe Biggest Danger. thing I can think of. Mm-hmm. No, I'm just a stock image, dude. Why don't you think of something? Sean pondered for a moment, then turned and looked wistfully into the mirror. <laughs> Reflected back was the visage of Neil deGrasse Tyson. If you're going to make a space game, first person, it's never been done before. How about that? I'm going up in orbit to repair the Hubble telescope. Mm. So that's not a knife. Who are you going to have sex with? How much microwaves are coursing through your body now? <laughs> the planet, said Murray. Hmm? Uh, t- space I've game. just lived a whole the lifetime. Generation. Mm-hmm. Planet. Okay, that sounds good. Yes, yes, we all agree. So they set to work, cobbled together a prototype, and by VGX 2013, they are ready to announce another new IP. <gasps> no Man's yes. Sky. Check it out, check it out. Mm, the thing. Oh, this is special. Dope. <laughs> <laughs> I love that sweet man. Looks pretty, looks good. Mm-hmm. A game. <laughs> so good. The man's so excited. It's 2014, and it's E3 hype time. Oh boy, no E3. No Man's Sky has promised Ugh. to be a game like no other. All those people in a room? A practically Wild. boundless experience, vibrant with life and color and things to explore. What's over there? You'll have to be the one to discover it. And then, wow, look at that big f***ing dinosaur. Holy shit. And a moment later, we're in space. So having good. a battle amongst a giant fleet. Claim a planet as your own. Explore the galaxy with your friends. Okay, that's it. This is going to be the best game ever, you guys. It even won awards for its hype. And it will wow. release in June 2016. Nice. The Unless. hype train was officially loading up and ready to chug out oh, the There stadium. it goes, the hype train. At every stop of the journey, there would be press junkets talking about the amazing scale of the game. Spread across 18 quintillion planets, it's so vast that by the time you finish exploring it all, I would have two new videos published. <laughs> Sean himself was doing the interviews. Because who is better to talk about the game than the lead guy himself? He went from interview to interview, He's and with cute. each question, the answers oh, yeah. he gave Don't look at me. raised ah! people's expectations of the game's scope. Can you land on a comet? I yeah, understand. at the moment yeah. you can land on asteroid. You could encounter other players. Can you grief other players? <laughs> a little bit. They're literally building a your own bit. Like, massively multiplayer oh, world that's procedurally right. generated. He doesn't Sand want people to meet like in June, rivers, walking sentinels. Hacking. Wow. So sophisticated that light diffracts through the atoms, they had to redevelop the whole periodic table to make it work. <laughs> what? Like even Elon Musk was hyped for it. Uh oh. Two years go by. It's mm-hmm. early 2016, and that hype train is really moving now. Oh, I love Perhaps one Thanos of the biggest doing in disgusting history. dances on my train. Riddick was shoveling most of the game of fuel. Skeptics and naysayers are treated as ballast and thrown from the carriage doors. Pre-orders open, and they are doing very well. The date is booked in. I'm Some sure, it's a lot of promises. So much hype there is that... Uh-oh. Jason Trier of the soon-to-be-defunct Kotaku is about to spoil the party. He oh. announces a delay from June Whoa. 2016 to August. He really got him. Oh my God. Liar, the incensed audience cries. Please be quiet, they said. And <laughs> death threats too. But oh my God. Right. A week later, the delay is officially announced. Mm. Ooh, sorry, lads, we need more polish, said Sean in his usual <laughs> accent. To that, Sean received some death threats too, by the way. Although he didn't take oh. them as seriously to go to the police. Yet. Sometimes foreshadowing is relatively obvious. But the impatient crowd relaxed a bit <laughs> and said, The impatient oh, crowd fine. We will wait. is beautiful. But we expect a level of polish. Ew, I hate this scene. <laughs> What's that man doing in the corner? <laughs> oh, Speaking too much. of waiting. Shadow man here. Have you heard of Rady Bad Shady? Time. My wife died in a plane crash. Hey, hey, let's get okay. serious for a moment. Rady yeah. isn't just a game with 15 million What's dollars happened? in the last six months. I'm being accosted it's by this ad. 
Think differently. Play raid differently. Achieve your dreams. I'm sorry, sir. You've contracted raids. That's good. Congratulations. It's Gorgorub of the I love when people do an ad life. and they just, just go crazy with it. That's fun. Champions. Why, hello there. <laughs> Have you heard about the online RPG PvP? See ya. Well I gotta say, store. um, I love the information I'm getting. I'm gonna learn a lot by the end of this. The chaotic energy of this creator, though, I would not trust this person w in the same room as me. They, like, for a bit. Would, How so? I, I would blink, and then suddenly, like, the whole room would be arranged. Like, they, they make me laugh in such a way that, like, in the last moments, I just notice an image is being tweaked, and I go, huh! Like, it's just so alarming. You the, don't know what to expect. The chaotic energy of yeah. this ad alone is nutters to me. Yeah, he was like, I've got a sponsor. Are you sure? I don't know if you're going to want to sponsor me by the end of this ad because I'm going to go nuts with it. This person but clearly it works, which is great. Told me it's I contracted fun. raids. <laughs> he did. <laughs> with a Photoshop monster baby. Okay. I love it. The yeah. editing style is very fun. Yeah. Edutainment. <laughs> Oh. oh no! Oh, I have my wife. Raid is more than just a game. It's a reassuring pat on the back from your dad. Oh. It's a warm bowl of soup on a cold night. Ew. <laughs> it's one I don't like the dance. soup when it's grayscale. It looks like you know. porridge. Did. If you bit. haven't played in the arena yet, I'm gonna break into your house. You're all no. getting raid for Christmas, kids. <gasps> Aww. Yay. That's nice. Yeah. Aww. And if you download now, kids. Using the link in the description below. I'm sorry, do you, you use the link in the description below? And an epic champion. Uh, wow, you're, you're the, the best, best dad, dad ever. ever. Wait, mom's dead? <gasps> Braid, <gasps> Bummer. Legends. Oh no. Ad Fun or... ad. We're back. So and let's talk about the team in charge of all that polishing. It's small. <laughs> tiny. In fact, I haven't been able to find a smaller team behind a AAA yeah. release. Yeah. Hmm. I didn't realize their team was that small. Yeah, man. Uh, on the shoulders of just six people, expanding Eek. to a team of 15 by the end of production. Mm. Oh, God. July. It's just a couple of weeks until the release date. Whatever the state of the game by now, however much it's finished, that's what's going out. The Hello Games team celebrates with this iconic image. The quintessential soy face. They're exhausted. Look at what video game production does to a man. God, what's wrong with your face? Nonetheless, they continue. <laughs> Doing this man so dirty. Yeah. And, uh-oh. Uh -oh. Sean, if your game isn't coming out for another two weeks, then why is there a box copy on eBay? What? That's right. It's a leak. Oh, no. So broke the embargo and is selling early access. Selling it for $1,250. Evil. Dastardly. That's so mean. Also, mm -hmm. that's so much. This person really was like, I'm gonna I'm gonna scam everyone. How they're gonna tell me, but I'm just so flabbergasted. Like, did someone like pull a heist for this is this game like that big a deal that someone's like, I'm gonna steal it? Right. Like, I mean, clearly it had a lot of hype, but like uh, also it's such a like I would say, oh, it's someone on the inside leaked it. Because they knew, like, the stakes and the high demand. But also, that's such a small team. One of our own betrayed us. Right, like, that's, that's a team of 15 people. You Who Judas. It? Yeah, no kidding. <laughs> My goodness. Access to the highest bidder. And the bids start rolling in. Oh, it was bid on. Still, though. Very good. $1,300 US. <laughs> sold to some guy with the Reddit handle, Damien. He gets his hands cool. on it and starts uploading footage to YouTube and Daily Motion. Of course. What? What the frick? said Sean and Sony. <laughs> Damien finished it a lot <laughs> quicker than expected, but he gave it a decent review. There are things I don't like, there are things I like, but at the end of the day, when I say to myself, what is this game supposed to be? This, what I'm looking at right here, this is what the game is supposed to be. He noted a okay. few problems. Uh, but that looks like a feature to me. The <laughs> the day one patch. That's just me at the end of the day. Yeah. Uh, sure. Oh no. <gasps> it's another leak. Some retailers broke the official release date. Journalists too. And they started streaming playthroughs of the game. 
No. What the? Sony tried to DMCA in these videos, but their aim was terrible. Round of applause, everyone. We've officially become No Man's Censored by Sony. Mm. Our new story from earlier this week about No Man's Sky leaks has been hit with a copyright strike on YouTube. They went bumbling around from platform to platform, just taking down any video that even talked about the leak or showed the trailer Wild. footage. But it was too late. The footage had people talking more skeptically about the game. Especially because there were no early off. review copies. That's bad. Tired out and here. it was looking like the weight of all these expectations had become mm. too much. And the whole thing was about to give. Oh no. Oh no! It's August. Everyone's oh no, it's here. August. We've all bought the game and we're fucking Look at them with their here copies. Here we go, lads. Lads. Oh um, dear lord, um, it isn't finished. Um, uh, hello, Sean. It is me, the auditor of games. He's my favorite one. I used to work at an astronomy lab. Don't worry about that. <laughs> Monster it seems like construction you've made a lot of promises. Oh, promises that, ugly. Uh, you have not kept. Let's go through the checklist. Oh no, have what do they do? Have you large-scale joinable space battles? Nobody mm. would want that. Uh, ruined planets. Uh, no. No. Fine, well, at least let me play as a trader. Some may call this You can't even name your ship? Too much, too much time, That's... too much money. Oh no. Individuality. We don't know her. I mean, you I get don't. This name of ship. Yeah, no. Gamer. You get one ship. That's it. I do feel so. Like, as much as it sucks, and like, yeah, if. Like, they had a professional obligation, but it's also such a tiny team mm -hmm. that I'm like. I mean, freaking. I love Pokemon. Pokemon just like sends out games before they're ready all the time and they yeah. have how many people working on a game yeah and i'm not saying that's okay but like i just feel i kind of feel bad for these people but i feel like i'm gonna learn more yeah and also there's so much like i feel like the beginning had so much like they talked up this game they yeah. went on these interviews they were like they they got like people go crazy and they hype stuff up but i'm like you said you, you gave us this image so many promised so many things we love yeah. a realistic uh, goal to be set you know yes. don't set something so crazy and hard to right. hold on to it's just oh man it sucks but yeah mm, it feels making games are hard yeah and I I bet I don't even know half of what goes into it mm. junk me I call them uh no those sand planets from June look nice think I might <laughs> <laughs> Please, Jordan, there must be rivers. No, no, it's, no, it's not. Animals interact with each other in the environment? That looks uh, like interaction no. to me. No. Yeah, come on. Of walking it's how I greet people. Jordan. No. I'm literally crying right now. <gasps> Should I even ask whether I can play as a space pirate? <gasps> Hello? Who's in there? Knock, no. knock. <laughs> Factions with different attributes. Oh no! Oh, oh god! <laughs> Fly between Not the helmet. Manual, the helmet. But nobody's actually done it yet. If I can maneuver like in the trailer, I'll still be happy. No. Oh. Day-night cycles oh, no. determined really. by the orbit of the sun. Yeah. Really? Uh, no. <laughs> I didn't realize it was this bad. Name your ship, hacking portals, all that stuff about the We should start naming what we can do. This is not good, Sean. Very not good. And ironically, the only bugs this game doesn't have oh, are the no. butterflies in the demo. Um, Berry buildings, something. aggressive Celebrate emotions, what we're good at. tractor beam malfunctions, animal husbandry, oil slick world, raining grass, <gasps> retarded animals doing retarded things. Uh, I do want a world where it rains grass. <laughs> Ship's interiors disappear. We'll work on that. First person mode as Thank a you. gun. That's not how flying works. That's you my sure? only means of transportation, leaving the planet. Take off. Really take off. Holes in the map. Holes in my graphics card. A oh. whole lot of nothing from down here. Textures oh. bugging out. Animals bugging out. Animals break dance. Look at these busy. The animals. I know it's not what it was meant to do. It does feel fun. And I do like that. The I'm, silly animals glitching out. Sure. I'm interested why it's like to it's um head spin or like humping. Like those are the two like <laughs> images I've seen of the animals. They are either head first or they are um fornicating with something. And yes. so 
why only those <laughs> options for them? Give them at least one more. That's like, true. If I'm going to complain about the glitching animals, I want more than two glitching styles. Yeah, variety. Thank you. The hand. Hello, Hello there. <gasps> and a couple of unrequested ejector seats. Oh, see ya. Bye. It'd be like that. Okay, that's a lot of stuff. I get yeah. the picture. No wait, poor graphics rendering. Some can't even start the game. Frame rate issues, constant crashes. Major publications are having trouble playing the game on their machines. Mm. Even the best 1080 Ti's are stuttering. Alt tabbing? That's a guaranteed crash. Desktop notifications? That's a crash. Playing the game? That's a crash. Changing options in the game without no. restarting? You'll get this. And if you got the pre-order version with the bonus spaceship, you might have a problem. Your special ship already comes with a hyperdrive inside it. Great, right? No, because you have no. to craft it in order to finish the tutorial missions. And if you haven't finished the tutorial missions, you can't leave the star system. So whoops, until they patch it, you're stranded. Oh no. That's why I give my kids No Man's Sky. <laughs> the Thank you so much. <gasps> what a visual. Thank there you. There she goes. <laughs> Blasting off again. Oh, mom, no. Ah, my ship's in bits! <laughs> oh, there she is. Okay, thank you. <laughs> just a quick note about how high expectations oh, were for no. this game and just how many people bought it on release, myself included. Mm. Over three quarters of a million purchases on Steam at launch. It's the single best selling game on the PlayStation Store that month. Whoa. And the large proportion of people who bought <laughs> it child. in the hopes of playing with their friends, well, you're in for a surprise. This one is a literal game oh, changer. No. Oh, no. Is it even possible to meet up with your friends in No Man's Sky? Sure. The answer is absolutely yes, it's possible. On multiple occasions, Sean said it was definitely in the game. Will you be able to play with your friends? Yeah. <laughs> Can you run into other people, other players on the game? Yes. But then just before the release, Sean posted this cryptic tweet. <gasps> to be super clear, No what? Man's Sky is not a multiplayer game. Please don't go in looking for that experience. Oh, what? So there's no multiplayer function. But then the next line contradicts the helmet that. edits. <laughs> because the chances of two players ever crossing paths in a universe okay. this big is pretty much zero. That's what I was wondering if they did make it on that scale. Like, but... Also, you would think there would be some sort of caveat to make sure that even if the universe is that big, you could still meet up with your friends. I'm just lost about the energy of these tweets. Like, hey, that thing I really excitedly told you about, don't go looking for it. Like, what a funny way to phrase that. Like, yeah, don't go looking for that. The onus How is on me. You? It won't, it's not even likely. Don't don't look. Don't for waste it. your time. Like, dude, yeah. you told me. I'm just wondering. Yeah. I'm just wondering if you're gonna do the thing you said. It really still feels like a case of deciding to do this groundbreaking thing, making a giant universe, and then being like, "This is so much more work than we thought it would be," because it's yeah. unprecedented. If it even, but at this point, I'm like, if it even is that big of a universe, or yeah. if they just said that. Oh, so it is multiplayer. You just have to overcome this finding each other hurdle. So you're telling me there's a chance. <laughs> yeah! Right? No, it's more confusing than that. No! Because the box doesn't mention online play, just <laughs> network features. And the collector's edition had its online play icon stickered over. So customers oh. are going, which one is it, Sean? Just tell us if it has multiplayer or it doesn't have multiplayer. <laughs> Sean wouldn't give any answers. Oh no. But after hundreds of thousands of purchases, people soon took it upon themselves to find out. Despite the claims that it would be so improbable. that are incredibly rare, just because of the size of the building. On the very first day, two people noticed they were only four star systems from one another, and they met up on the same planet in a live stream. Oh dear. Oh. Oh. Black pillar. Our, yeah, our streams are, are exactly lined up. <gasps> oh, the so they just now. lied about it. Yeah. yeah. Or didn't the know. the same spot. But and they can't see each can other. Can you imagine not knowing? Right. That settles it. It's not not multiplayer because it's so big. It's not mm. multiplayer because it's just not fucking multiplayer. <laughs> and this led to quite a Unfortunate. Revolt. 
what did Sean have to say about all this? So amazing, two people found each other on the first day. That has found blown each other. my mind. So why can't we see other players in game? Wow, so many of you playing. Yeah, Sean, but <laughs> what? Amazing. There he goes. <laughs> the bare feet really it does Ew. it for me. Also, this man really trying to rewrite his whole narrative. Just talk over me this whole time and tell me <laughs> what's happening. And I'm like, no, we're all confused about this game, Sean. You can't, you can't just run away. In your you bare feet. Through a glass window. Ugh. You can't do that. So what's the game actually like then? Is it any good? That is a difficult thing to say. Well, it certainly is stylish Ouch. and pretty. And there are a lot of places to explore. But that doesn't mean oh, there's much to find. That creature? In fact, the game boils down to a very simple loop. Hold down the trigger to pick up resources, deal with a full inventory, get an upgrade, leave the planet, go to another planet. Hold down the trigger, deal with a full inventory, get an upgrade, leave the planet, go to another planet. Hold down the trigger, deal with a full inventory, leave the planet, go to another planet, deal with a full inventory, get an upgrade, leave the planet, go to another planet. That's it. Sixty dollars. You know what is crazy to me about this? What? Like this loop that they're talking about yeah. is like task loop is that <sighs> so this came out in 2016 right yeah it was just about it was yeah <laughs> it was honest it was honestly it was obviously in production for a long time before that mm -hmm. but so was legend of zelda breath of the wild oh. and they did it's a similar loop but it makes it fun mm -hmm. so i'm like what's the magic thing that this game didn't get right about at least making the tedium fun. Well, there's at least like fighting, you know, and like true. Cu and customization. You can't name your ship in this game, you know. That is very true. It's it's funny. It makes sense to me that before this, their big game was like a cell phone type game because this just sounds like every like harvesting app game I've ever like. You know, that's the point. It's just like right. you go to location, you jam like a button and then you go to next location. But like it's just the, a game on your phone. So it's, it's really just about like spending money and collecting yeah. stuff. It really feels like they were like, we're going to do all these cool things. But when the chips were down and mm -hmm. maybe they didn't know that they couldn't do it yet. And then they realized they were like, OK, we're just going to structure a game together that we are good at. A formula we know, which is what you mm -hmm. said. A similar, similar kind of mobile-like situation. Curiouser and curious. Yeah, it's wild. Dollars, ladies and gentlemen. Refuel your multi-tool, refuel your life support, refuel a separate part of your multi-tool that shoots bullets instead of the mining beam, refuel your launch thrusters. It's busy work that makes it look like you have something to do. It's not real. How dare you? What followed was one of the most Greta, dramatic crashes Greta. in player numbers in gaming history. Bye. Sales in the UK fell by 81% in the Yikes. second week. Concurrent players on it. Steam dropped from 212,000 in August sad. to just over 2,000 by September and oh, fewer sweetie. than 1,000 by October. Oh, no. And what followed that was perhaps the biggest pylon in gaming history. Reviewers on YouTube panned the ha game. Haha, funny oh, pun. For fuck's sake! You done fucked it up! I had no hype. I want that to be my job. Put me in the spacesuit. I want to just like be on a green screen in the spacesuit yelling. About things. I don't care what it pays. That's my new career in life. Cool. Looking I'm so forward sorry. to it. <laughs> and I can tell you that even without that disappointment, this game is hot garbage. <gasps> Has anyone coined Sean Mourinho yet? Numerous times within the first two hours of the game, I kept saying, this is it. Fuck this shit. <gasps> Review is in the media. Oh. Oh. Devastating realization that most of the crafting, combat, and other activities you do on and between those planets ranges well, between confusing and outright bad. Okay. The criticism well, is deafening. Shoot, bad. shoot. Point, point. And a lot of it really yeah. funny and creative. Kroby Cat made a video that captured the sentiment of that day. And if you haven't seen it yet, you're missing out. So people are furious, the game is boring, and soon people discover that complaining about the game is actually more fun than playing it. Wait, I'm now three and a half hours into the tutorial, pretty much. So they started complaining about it like they were grinding for an achievement. This sucks. Fucking Minecraft in space. Many people made compilations really angry. of all the unfulfilled promises. One guy on the subreddit compiled a big list of all the missing features. Front page. Got a defense for No Man's Sky? 
enjoy your downvote. In fact, the entire No Man's Sky subreddit was in such disarray it had to be locked. Oh my gosh. So by the end of the month, Metacritic was like scrolling through a bowl of Cheerios. By October, it was one of the worst rated games on Steam with an aggregate of mostly Ooh. negative from more than 70,000 reviews. The Yikes. outrage of the game was headline news for weeks on dozens of games news publications. And the price on eBay and Amazon and secondhand at GameStop was crashing through the floor. Mm. Ooh. Oh, please, 125. No but the beatings had only just begun. <laughs> the demo planet mm -hmm. was data mined and found to be, of course, totally scripted and not randomly generated at all. Mm. I'm just going to pick one of these at random. If anything horrible goes wrong, just keep in mind that... Okay, so... What I'm starting to gather is that it may have been more fabrication than mm -hmm. failure to deliver. Mm. I've not been here before. It wasn't some level that we built or something like that, even though I think it looks quite nice in places. People watching this would wonder why you're showing this area again. Like, what's so special about demoing the game on this planet? Oh, no, no. It's just a place that looks nice. Caught nope. red-handed. I could have ended the demo with some, you know, pre-scripted crazy thing that mm -hmm. would happen. You know what I mean? The normal thing of like, and then a monster emerges from behind the mountains, you know? <laughs> People see what's going on with the game and feel lied to. This is false advertising, <laughs> and angry customers help. start scooping out a lawsuit. On September 28th, the ASA... Wait, a lawsuit? Because just people can do that? Just be like, you false advertising. Goods not delivered as promised? I don't know. I'm like, not a lawyer. what's stopping me from doing that to every man I've ever dated? You know, like, like what? why is that allowed? Like, well, I, I don't understand. Exchanging money for goods that were not delivered as... Promise, sure. Is it? it it's maybe? just like so outlandish a claim. Like they're like they're no part of what you said was in this game. Maybe. Uh, I guess. Oh. Let's find out. Um, we'll see. They bust through the door and goes. Yep. Too many complaints. We're going to investigate. Okay. Uh, then soon after, the ASA cleared them of any legal wrongdoing. Technically, the okay. only thing they're interested in is what's on the back of the box what's on the store page, and what's on the Steam page. Uh, so so it's technically deep, not deep false digging. advertising. Yeah, I was gonna say, it's so subjective. But of course, yeah. technically not illegal doesn't mean much to an angry audience. Mm. Mm. October 28th, Hello Games Twitter is hacked. The <gasps> hacker posts, No Man's Sky was a mistake, and is shitting on the game in the replies. Turns out sure- People love to hate these people. We need a villain. We just need a clear villain, and it's going to be Hello Games. I'm going <laughs> to, like, Jesus Christ, dude. This is going so much farther than I thought it would. Oh. LinkedIn, and that's how they got in. They also sent discrediting emails to journalists, which they knew would rile people <gasps> up if published. Some people even show up to their offices to take photos and knock <gasps> on the door, mm. even at night. I don't like that. Leave me weekend. alone. They posted empty pictures of the office, so naturally out of context, this started rumors that Hello Games simply took the money and ran. That's this petty. This in addition to numerous and bomb and death threats <laughs> during that period. Those ones Sean did have to take seriously. Uh, regular Gosh. intervention from police and Scotland Yard and things like that. And while Sony didn't quite throw them under the bus, it was more like a gentle <laughs> push under a minivan. When Sony president Shohei Yoshida admitted that Hello Games did not have a great PR strategy for No Man's Sky. Mm. The press took the ball with that one and ran. Oof. But despite all of this, all of the negative press, they were actually nominated for a couple of awards. Which but by ones? this point, Why? Murray and the other members of Hello Games were so downtrodden and so sure they weren't going to win that they opted to go elsewhere for dinner. <gasps> and the Innovation Award goes to... No Man's Sky. <laughs> No way. This didn't show up. This is they so much think... drama. Have you ever heard of anything more iconic in your life? I didn't realize the amount of petty drama involved in this. I thought it was oh, just people being yeah. disappointed. I'm so winners and couldn't even bother to show no, up. They, they were probably eating, um, eating Popeye's them. chicken sandwiches instead. You know, they like couldn't be bothered to go to this event. No. I'm, I'm so obsessed with that. 
This is this is high so, drama. It's so the the pettiness, the drama is very fun. The girls are fighting. They're you know fighting. <laughs> They're fighting. They're not showing up to their best friend's birthday party. <laughs> They're not showing up to their own birthday party. This lovely trophy going once. Whoops. I'm going to accept this on the, uh, behalf of Hello Games, and congratulations to them. And I'm going to walk off stage like I planned that whole thing. <gasps> By this point, you've got to feel <gasps> just Hello a little showers. bit sorry for them. And then what followed that was the final straw for me. Dead to know. Oh, send him into space. No particular okay. incident, but a lack of incidents. Mm-hmm. Silence. Okay. Over three months of not a damn word from No Man's Sky. Weird. Where are they? Where is my refund? Where is Murray? Shouted into the void. The game was over. And it was dead. Let's go. Different POV. Yeah, I'm ready for it. Will oh, Will Smith is making a triumphant <laughs> yeah. return. The year is 2000 AD. Don't say AD. Amazing. Dawn has just graduated from university and is headed into the big wide Ew. world. <laughs> Look at him he go. He rises up the ranks in a number of studios, eventually working as a technical lead for Black and technical director for Burnout 3. Okay. Mm-hmm. When Burnout's developer is bought by EA, he is in his late 20s. Challenge everything. And he and three of his buddies decide to leave and start their own studio. Hello Games. This was a risky venture. Uh, so we'd done this incredibly foolish thing of like quitting our jobs and then we had to sit down and try and decide what the game was going to be. Uh. Together they create their first title, uh. Joe Danger. The beginning, <laughs> remember? They work on this game day and night. Nostalgic music. In fact, mm-hmm. even once they were arrested in their own office <laughs> because the police thought they were oh. there to rob the place. Because what? who would be working at 11 p.m. on a Sunday night? But they had Lots to of people, what? <laughs> like any startup, it was a huge financial and professional risk. They had no income. Mm-hmm. They were working in a tiny room above an old tile shop living off savings and to keep the project running sean even sold his house so we made a really tough and probably at the time seemed really foolish decision um it's kind of almost embarrassing for me to talk about uh i sold my house and just basically went all in and and funded what we were doing which is not something i would recommend anyone else it's scary by june 8th 2010 they had done it the game was good and they could breathe a sigh of relief because on the very first day it hit the PlayStation Store, they made their money back. Nice. Two years later, Joe Danger 2 was released. It was not the commercial success they had hoped for, and they didn't want to just keep pumping out sequels. That was a <laughs> trap big players in the industry had fallen into. In his spare time, Sean started working on a prototype for a procedurally generated game. They took another gamble and scrambled to get a trailer out in time to present at VGX 2013. So the project is official now, and the pressure is on. Around this time, Sean is also looking to start a family. Start the baby! He would go on to have three kids, so the weight of responsibility is really piling on. But their hard work will pay off, as they're finally going to have a chance for some R&R around Christmas. Except not, I'm assuming. They were fortune <gasps> flooded, their cars submerged, and their plans for Christmas, Christmas Day very much ruined. Oh no! Bad news. Mm-hmm. Rain. Rain and flooding in the south of England, right mm. around the Hello Games office. Ooh, no. They are completely inundated and they return from their holidays to find laptops floating around at waist height. But some good news. They hadn't lost any data. So they pull together. Soldier on. Development continues. Wait, there was a little thing at the bottom of the screen that said that Sony offered to like help them like get their stuff back, and then it said the offer was declined. Ooh. I want more of that. Yeah. More details, please. Just 
be okay if Sony yeah. is like, here, here's this, and you've like sold your house. Yeah, Big Daddy Sony. It it won't. It, it'll it's be, not it, gonna do anything. Yeah, to they'll them. be okay. Um, also, just isn't it so nuts that like this big thing is has been going on. Um, it's all online. Yeah. And then this real like even like the most like online of like new concepts, flood. Na- yeah. natural like thing that happens just wipes out everything it's so bizarre those two worlds can like come yeah. together and just like be so tragic right Oy. yeah so crazy mm. my goodness so there they are working in a damp office and then ding dong oh who's at the door it's danish mathematician dr johan gillis Hi. he's seen the game and he says they are using my super formula in perfect English, and there is a potential for a lawsuit. Sick impression. Sean says they didn't, and he can nice prove it. German so they have a Danish meeting, guy. and the claim is eventually dropped. Lawsuit evaded. <laughs> so back to work, guys. Ding dong. It's Sky Television. They've oh, seen nice. the game. Wearing a tie. You're infringing oh. our Sky trademark. They said in perfect text to speech. They had succeeded in getting Microsoft to change Sky Drive to OneDrive, and they were about to give gamers No Man's One under threat of lawsuit. But this lawsuit didn't just go away. The threat loomed over them for the next three years. They right own the word the sky. Release. Stupid so legal they get back stuff. To work that is stupid legal mm-hmm. stuff. It's Sony with some good news for once. There he is. We Hi. like the game kit. We want to feature it front and center and make you a big star. Yeah, since Aww. you declined our first you offer. Of you know. An additional revenue. Yeah, you play hard they to get. Said, yeah. yeah. But along with it, a lot of press for this game would need to be done. <laughs> Being a small team, they didn't have anyone for PR. They had their designers, they had their developers, and that was about it. So it's up to Murray. Oh, Sean's wearing too many hats. Now. Not mm-hmm. super young, but relatively young and inexperienced for this type of media circuit. Mm. This deal with Sony put extra pressure on them. It set deadlines. It's not that it's Sony's fault, but they're locked in now with much less flexibility. Mm. So when May rolls around and they have no option there goes May. to delay, even if they wanted to ask for an extra six to 12 months of development, which they really need, it's probably too much to ask for. Mm. So they extend from late June to August. Only six weeks. Shoot. From here, you can predict what's going to happen to multiplayer and a bunch of other promised features. Right. So here's how the hype happened. How yeah, hype tell happened. Of game. How? Time. <laughs> and here's the line which shows the reality of Damn. development. Progress is steady and ends in August 2016. Now here is the line of player expectations. It should start out here and follow along the purple. But the overhyping trailer comes out and puts us sure. way up here. In this trailer, it features a bunch of things that Hello Games thinks they're capable of having in the game you by 2016. You can't do that. You just can't. That's the first big mistake. Mm-hmm. Then it's announced for PlayStation, and it costs $60, Nemo. and there's a collector's edition. Sick, right? Second, even we'll bigger mistake. That puts us all the way up here. And I think this is the main problem, because price tags set expectations. <laughs> For a $60 sure. game, this was seriously very disappointing. Now, if they had put it out for $20 as an indie game or an alpha, yeah. no problem. Yes, slap an alpha on a that. Treatment, that was going to be, like, at the uh, my big takeaway. I was going to be like, listen, I understand being mad, but I at, at, the, at the end of the day, it is, like, a small team. Yeah. I would have been like, sometimes that you just buy a game and it, it overhypes itself, but, like, yeah, it hurts a little more when it's like a sixty dollar game, and right. you were so confident. And oh boy, right? Honestly, just and I know they don't have a PR person, and mm-hmm. I am not a PR person, Mm-mm. but just talk to Sony. Be honest with Big Daddy Sony in the yeah. sky, Papa and then just, Sony, Pop, Papa Sony. Be honest with him, and just be like, hey. Can we release this but sl- but slap an alpha on that and keep like the yeah. little like making people feel special little package deal so that mm. they'll want to come back for the full release. I just want the best for No Man's Sky. I really do. I'm a concerned mom here. Yeah. Um, Who knows? Mm. 
people could have rightfully been? aligned their expectations with other games in that category. Oh, Cyberpunk. That is the main reason mm. customers' expectations yeah, yeah, were yeah. so skewed. Then Murray oh, went into That's consistent. Problem. Always. Every time he mentioned a feature in the game, even in passing, fans set their expectations to triple A mm. heights for that feature. Now, some people think the interviews are the main problem. In my humble opinion, not so much. Mm. Most people never saw Say these it. interviews. It's mm. not that rickety 12-foot ladder Sean's standing on that's the main problem. It's the 900-foot building he's perched it on in the first place. Mm -hmm. So the obvious solution here would be an official statement. Hey guys, look, don't expect a 10 out of 10. Expect more of a 5 out of 10. No, the publisher just sank an enormous investment of marketing and opportunity into the game. What's wrong with you? And that would be a huge middle finger to them. Yeah. The publisher isn't going to make you hype the shit out of your game, oh. but you can't talk it down either. Wiki so it's kind of stuck up there. In some ways, during the interview, he tries to temper expectations, but it's limited. Can you build a space station? No. Uh, that was a... He's but stuck to that no. Yeah, interview. many no. iconic no's in this. Sean is no. a technical um, guy. No. He's a developer. He's also the introverted type. Mm, and the big lights sucks. and stuff on Been camera there. does not come naturally to him. Is it super nerve-wracking to talk on stage of E3? Uh, yes. <laughs> yes, definitely. Mm, I buddy. personally find going on stage at E3 like the hardest thing I've ever done. That's buddy. something that... I would have had in a nightmare before. You know oh I mean? no! It's the hardest thing you've ever a nightmare. Done. Yeah. You're a yeah. PR person. Still, please, he stepped please. up and took interviews for his game from 2013 to 2016. Oh my gosh! And the main thing people wanted to hear about were the features. Can you have more than so every planet? Will there be wormholes? Right. At what point do you get do you get points or anything? From these interviews, people took short. To <laughs> you get alive. points. Are there rings? Peter Are there coins? What's going on here? Out to sell his game at whatever reputational cursed cost. Tubby. You're very but cursed. I think the truth is more complicated than that. <laughs> Thank you. Sean and the team are indie developers working on a new IP. Their project and plans are constantly in flux. Mm -hmm. They have no idea how large chunks of the game are going to look, especially not a couple of years out from release. And crucially, Sean doesn't understand that something mentioned in 2013, even said in passing, is going to be seen as a promise in the year 2016, stick with even you. if by then you've decided to cut it from the game. For example, orbiting around the sun. Day has turned to dark because the planet has actually rotated on its axis. This originally was in the game, but it caused the player too much confusion. It kept being reported as a bug in the beta, as people uh, left the planet and then returned mm. to find everything different. But nonetheless, into the line compilation it goes. So while they're still essentially formulating the game, the media all want a piece of Sean and to report on features first. Conversely, Sean thinks the reporters might help him to temper down things by emphasizing that Hello Games is an indie studio. Pizza. But that is not how journalism is done. Oh. This is how journalism is done. Can you customize the look of your character? The... Sort of. Full no. customization confirmed in No Man's Sky. Uh. Periodic table to create atmospheric to particles mm -hmm. that would diffract light at just the right wavelength. Who the fuck told you? The press kind of operates downstream from the community because things are click driven as to what stories you get served and things like that. But a rumor would surface from Reddit straight to the front page. There's all this hype, and the project has increased in scope dramatically and keeps increasing as the months go by until a point. They are close to the deadline and have to delay and the reality of what they can achieve. Can you imagine seeing on the website, if that was like a real thing, mm -hmm. uh, seeing on your, being part of the team, struggling and knowing that this thing is not gonna be what everybody thinks it's going to be. Yeah. And then going to your own companies or the game that your company's making website and just seeing that counter ticking down the seconds. Oh yeah. I would scream into a pillow. Nerve city. Yeah. Like they're already on such like a pressure cooker. Yeah, no thank you. Oh. And the little Poor time little indie devs. staring them in the face. Six of them. So they nice. know they're not gonna be putting out a finished game. Mm. They're worried. Mm. There's nothing more they can do. Oh. And the fear that they will disappoint the audience is growing on Sean and the team. 
Um, it's like a nightmare. I, mm. I worry about like disappointing people. Oh, Upon release, all I hate to tell you. Spoiler alert: you disappoint a few. And what doesn't help is his body language. I mean, oh, bud. Kind of the body language of someone who was lying. This is a narrator picking on this man right now. So he's like, it doesn't help that you can't stand up straight. It doesn't help that you look like a liar. Yeah. That's so sad. Can you change but that? Maybe it's just because he's an introvert. Yeah. It doesn't help that he's wearing that shirt. You know, like, it's just, like, so everyone personal. Knows, yeah, everyone knows that liars wear plaid. Look, I see three oh. liars right there. Oh. Three. Yeah. Too, too bad. Oh, and this buddy. is why I mentioned he's an introvert. Remember, he's a technical lead. Actually, a really good one. Mm. But not a salesman. Cut him just a little bit of slack, because this is simply how he talks. Here are some innocuous questions. He talks and he fine. Them <laughs> hey, uh, lead producers on uh, No Man's Sky? Yeah, I guess I'm a, I'm a developer on it. I suppose the... Uh, yeah, creator or something like that. <laughs> no, uh, he's I, wearing too many hats. I really like mm. making games. I don't necessarily love talking about it. <laughs> I think you do. Even, even, even you know, you guys are very nice. Eh? <laughs> May, seriously, need a confidence boost. And Jesus Mom, Christ, they have him up on stage person. in front of yeah, cameras fully. and bright don't lights. Don't make this your job. Cold yeah. report. Try keeping a nerve on that. Nonetheless, free of that context, the clips have him cemented in the community as a liar. Oh, bud. Um, back to the so disaster. the graph plays out right to release. And that graph, it's actually a track. And that track is what the hype train runs on. So it comes barreling up the hill. Instead of neatly pulling into the station, it comes crashing right through still on the it? roof. Oh. The disaster unfolds. They are absolutely shit on. So there <laughs> were Sean sure. and Hello shit Games. On surrounded by the rubble of their former <laughs> reputation. Punish Sean was at his lowest point, hated by the majority of the gaming community. But they were still alive, and they had made tens of millions of dollars. Uh, they were left with two choices. Take the money, start. I know. Biggest choice in life, buff lizard or a handful of cash? What do you choose? Um, you know, what is the buff lizard? Like, how much... Does he make a year? Maybe that pile of cash is nothing to bu- to the buff lizard. Yeah. So we don't know his net worth. That's a good point. Mm-hmm. I I'd, I'd want like one more convo, and then, and then I'll make my decision. Clarification. A mm-hmm. new project and be a pariah, a cautionary tale of the industry and hated by the gaming community forever. <laughs> Not or the crossing out of Sean. Pick up, get back to work, and with potentially no profit motive, finish the game. It allowed me to do something that I've always done in difficult times, whether it's crappy bosses that I've dealt with before or crappy situations at school growing up. I got my head down, I sat in front of a computer, and I made games, which is what I enjoy. Bud. They picked number two. <sighs> so, here's the plan. I'm rooting for him. The team is I assigned know. To I want to end well. The most obvious problems. I have a feeling Go. it doesn't. <laughs> Sean tells the team to stop reading all the overwhelmingly negative feedback on the game and he reroutes all of it to his personal devices. Emails, no. forum posts, Google News alerts, player feedback, it's all going directly to He's taken to on now. too much. Then he starts breaking that down into data sets. People who haven't bought the game, people who have bought it and played it for 100 hours, people who have returned it, etc. Looking at your own criticism that intensely for that long? Yeah. He's already, clearly, he's been on the like PR circuit for years mm-hmm. which is not a thing he likes to do and now mm-hmm. he's like oh for the sake of morale no one read bad things i'll read and like Ugh. deal with all of it buddy buddy me- don't be a martyr also no. like you like wow let me choose the m- the member of the team that's already overwhelmed all like already bad at, like handling the situation yeah. let's intensify that like mm, it's okay to ask for help i want to hold your hand and be like no baby no 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 no, no let's no. stop and they've made like tens of millions of dollars so like mm-hmm. i mean they if they continue to make the game it will be like a no a, a no a little to no profit thing but at the same time it's like Tens of millions of dollars. Like, I'm sure some of that goes back to Sony, but like they have sure. the resources to 
hire a PR person at this point. I think that would solve a lot of things. I'm nervous. Yeah. Then he starts compiling those complaints into usable data, focusing oh. on the people with the most sincere experience of the game. Okay. Then he start making a big laundry list of all the things that need adding and prioritizing. First thing to fix is that okay. full inventory. Then community mod support. Then a third thing, etc., etc. This is going to take an enormous amount of work to pull off, and they're not going to make the same mistake twice. So they would need to sharply adjust their PR strategy. Mm. Anything they said Anything right else. now, an admission of guilt. I, I, I hated the mirror, but criticism. Don't show me denial. A Paul brother. Yeah, disgusting. Bad, would be met with criticism. Corporate speak. Well, we endeavored to make the best game we could, and we are proud of what we have. Would be met with criticism. Mm. Half the problems have been caused by speaking too much. So they were going to do a complete 180. Instead of adding more fuel to the fire, instead of accidentally promising fixes that might also not be <coughs> delivered, they wouldn't speak to the press. What opinion. a good fix yeah. for yeah. lack of multiplayer. About, it fixes most problems, arguably. They were going to speak to the community directly from now on. Okay. Live so stream, Instagram the live. They were working on it and went completely silent. Hmm. One day passed. No word. Two days. A week. Have you heard from Hello Games? They just had this disastrous release. Nope, haven't seen them. I hope they're working on the game. Two weeks. Dude, are you working on this thing? Just ignore them, just work. Three weeks. Okay, what the fuck is going on? WTF, it's locked. Mm. A month. They took the fuck money and ran, didn't they? <gasps> Didn't say anything, it's not gonna help. Oh. Two months. They're trying so hard. And yeah. now everyone's like, they took the money and ran. When they're just trying to avoid further scandal and yeah. finish this freaking game that I'm sure they're all done. I think they would have twisted anything, you know. That's Part very true. Like, they love I, to hate this is, people. Yeah, this is a lose lose situation. It's true. If they have like talked, they would have been like, "You suck." Yeah. Now they're like, "You still suck." <sighs> Can't win. Mm. Three months. By now, most people were convinced that the game was abandoned. They had made their money. It's all over. Then, after over a hundred days of absolute silence, a tweet. Foundation. The first big patch. Okay. It is mm -hmm. me, Sean. These edits. No, go away, Sean. I am mad at you. This character. It's been too long. But I bring you gifts. Mm -hmm. This accent sucks. <laughs> it brought base building. New game mode, His arms. farming, cows, and freighters, as well as a lot of bug fixes. You will have to try harder than that, Sean, to win my love back. It still fell well shy of the promised game. Mm. Too little, too late. Mm. So Sean left, returned to his team, and got back to work. A few more months went by, and then another tweet. Pathfinder. What do we have? What That'll do fuck? it. Oh, it's you. Very good. I bring you online base sharing, own multiple starships, starship specialization, multi-tool specialization and classes, permadeath modes, vehicles you can drive around in, and create racetracks for them too with time trials. Oh, there she, she's still this. going. We love a callback. Pretty good, but I'm still mad. And there's still a ton promise that isn't in the game yet. So Somewhat. Away once more. A few more months went by. He is poor, not folks. Not. Oh, it's you, Sean. What is it now? I bring you an overhaul to the storyline. New worlds, crashed freighters, space combat, terrain editing, portals, procedural mission system, interstellar trading, and <laughs> joint exploration. <laughs> I by love now, those people were really men. starting to warm to No Man's Sky again, and to Hello Games. The game has, in many ways, exceeded what was promised. It's a substantially better game now. <laughs> no Man's Sky okay. is back, baby! People saw this was an honest effort to fix John the game. Reisinger, don't and do that. And the number of working on it was growing. From a studio of 15 to 25, Sean Murray and Hello Game Whoa. Social Media also started becoming more active and engaging with the audience. The subreddit was flourishing once more. The price of the game secondhand on Amazon, eBay, and GameStop was going up. Okay, they're doing something. Next, 
a really big patch. Pretty surreal that we're reacting to them reacting to the trailer, huh? Reacception. Wow. To be super clear, No Man's Sky is not fuck that. Here's the full and proper multiplayer. Come on. Third person mode. Character customization. Oh. A galactic <laughs> That's so funny. On an external is that actual game for the <laughs> No, I think that was like a base building and crafting I wish and it resources. Was. And it also brought the game to Xbox. Oh, nice. In fact, with the release of Next in I'm July sure 2018, would... No Man's Sky was the sixth top selling console game for the month. Nice. Oh, it ah. climbed its way back into Steam's top 10. It reached nearly 100,000 concurrent players. I'm hoping a good underdog story. I I'm know. rooting for the this team. Like I there know. is something so endearing about them. Yeah, they could have asked for help in so many ways, and they could have done things so differently. Yeah. But also, they didn't know, and they yeah. didn't have, and their office space flooded. They didn't have time and money. I see both sides, but mm -hmm. they've worked so hard at this point. Give them something. Yeah. Don't have a dramatic ending no. where everything burns. Please. Yeah. No it fire burning everything down. <laughs> million dollars across all platforms. This Steam rating went from mixed to very positive. Oh. Whoa! People were getting back on board in a big way. Okay. But they weren't done yet. Better creatures, Ooh. weird underwater mm. shit, discoveries in bases and environments <laughs> and equipment, and it keeps going. New biomes, more diversity, archaeology, are more things to discover. By now, oh, Sean in the gaming inspector personification of the gaming community had literally patched things up and were making out on the couch. Mm. That's cute. Which was when he released his like, biggest patch that. to date of this video. Oh my god, it's cute! Free VR support. Not a whole other game you have to pay for, like some titles. Ooh. Overhauls to NPCs, tech trees, base building, streamlined oh, multiplayer, wow. ride animals around. Also I want to ride a crab. Also pretty. In yeah. the first place. And they're still adding this stuff. <laughs> There they go. Someone at Valve, who was a fan of the game, said to me, what you do now is more important than what you say. There is only one thing that's credible, and that's your actions. Hmm. In fact, I was so slow to get this video out that they put out another patch the other day. Sick. With ship oh. salvaging, ship upgrading, more advanced terrain editing, first Cute. person exocross, improved VR, improved base building and inventory management, and quality of life stuff. It goes on. Mm. Is it perfect? Uh, technically, <laughs> there are still things on this spreadsheet missing. But come but on that's now, a lot we're starting to nitpick. Yeah, come Especially on. Especially when you compare them to relationships with other games companies. They could have gone the route of Fallout 76, paywall mods with Fallout first, charging a monthly fee, a downward yes. spiral more and more into pay to win scraps released without QA testing. Oh my goodness. But instead, they never added pay to win. They never added microtransactions or paid DLC. They never made VR as a second game. They didn't give up on the game or scale Honorable. their resources back to do yeah, it. No. They didn't come out and call gamers entitled. They didn't add loot boxes. They didn't start work on the next big project or sequel. They didn't do much of anything except get back to work. Heartwarming. And just like that, the game once panned by critics now had awards. Will they show in. up this time? <gasps> Star 2019, no Man's Sky. Sure, Murray. No Man's Sky next. Oh. No Man's Sky. No Man's Sky is next. Come on. Oh. And to cap it all off, the subreddit R No Man's Sky the Game even got together and pulled money for a GoFundMe to have a billboard installed near the Hello Games offices. Oh, okay. I'm actually so obsessed with how. People are like, I mean, perhaps they didn't see the whole situation before, but I am mm -hmm. obsessed with how people are just like rallying around them and being like, hey, we yeah. see what you've done. Yeah. We see the journey yeah. that we have been on and we're giving back. Yeah. That's oh, so good. This is, I didn't expect this to be heartwarming. <laughs> it must have been a harrowing moment for Sean and the team. Yeah, you hold your wine they took and walk a huge around. Risk mm -hmm. to start a small studio. They clawed their way up to create one of the most notable games of the console generation. Disappointed pretty much everyone <laughs> with the release. Including those two. And took one of the biggest men. online so videos in video My worst game critics. history for it. The family post-release 
we faced uh, some really difficult challenges. Everything that you can imagine from like the worst of the internet, we hit. But then over the course of the next three years, completely turned it around. Wow. And came out the other side <gasps> with a win. Yay. It's the underdog story. And after doing all of this research, I couldn't help but come to the conclusion that they were the good guys. Gay! <laughs> so what is the future for Hello Games? In 2017, they announced Hello Labs, a support program focused on original titles and games using procedural generation. Two of the team oh. also branched off to work on a small title called The Last Campfire. Oh, that looks oh, cute. I know for the foreseeable that. future, it's really cute. They're just working oh. on No Man's Sky. <laughs> the subtitle. Oh, amazing. All right, I didn't want to finish the video on like a big sappy note. So, Got this it. is the end of the story, but there's still another few minutes. Don't leave. It's not an ad. Got okay, it. Okay, in 2015, we're not. Although, internet mm -hmm. historian, your ads are delightful as far as ads go. We learned this. Hype was at its peak. Chaotic, wrote but very delightful. Sean Murray erotic fan fiction. And naturally, I assumed that you lot would want to see it. So, here it is my evening interview. At Hello Games. No! <gasps> I arrived at the Hello Games office in the early evening as the this sun so was approaching the horizon. This. Taking a deep breath, I nervously pressed the doorbell. <laughs> the door opened, and Sean poked his expressive face <laughs> to greet me. Hey you, he exclaimed in his adorable <laughs> hey, you. Australian accent. I'm so happy you could make it and spend the evening with us. I was so happy when I heard you agreed to let person? me come I, and Yeah, who is this person who oh, is yeah, being maligned? I forgot. He replied with his usual brilliant humor. I laughed. <laughs> so I mean, I think, I said earlier, I think Sean's cute. This is a bit much. I draw the line at writing fan fiction about real people. It feels, I mean, say what you want. I don't know if that's what makes you happy. Yeah, keep it rolling. I need this to wash over it me. Feels, <laughs> I need yes, to it feels a little bad. I don't know. Funny, Sean. Let me show you my office. I have a surprise for you, Sean. Surprise. He <gasps> led me to the room where we sat down on a soft vinyl couch. So let me show you the surprise, he said oh. softly. Oh. It's the newest softly. build of the game. Why is he always barefoot in these stock features. photos? Because he's he cool booted up hip. the game on a PS4 in his office. I stared at his face. <laughs> I, I like your beard. It's sexy, I pretended to say to him in my head to myself. Except it wasn't in my head. I had a secret crush on him. <laughs> there was something about his humble demeanor and feeble yet handsome bone structure that was so alluring. So here's the game, he said eagerly. It feeble yet handsome. That's a backhanded feeble, compliment. Yet or are handsome. we even claiming feeble? Yeah. <laughs> feeble men online. Take back word opened on an alien world just calling out to be explored. I began to sweat. <gasps> Here it finally was. Gulp. In front of me in all of its glory. And it was being played by Sean in front of me in all of Sean's his glory. I nervously spoke. Could I try playing? I said. Ooh. Oh, I suppose, of course, he said, chuckling. But another <laughs> few minutes passed without him handing me the controls. Sean, I said more confidently. I put my hands on his hands oh. as he gripped the controller. He looked me straight in the eyes. No. I stared deep into this his This man is married with children. <laughs> transfixed. This he just wants before. to make a game and go home. He said, he sure. let go of the PlayStation controller. How is this an interview? Still sweaty from his firm grip. Ooh. But I have another surprise to show you. So many surprises. He stood up. Of course. My Redacted. He muttered. Yes, please, I said, blushing as red as, <laughs> blushing as, red as the treetops of Warrior 5. Thank he you for the reference, my shoulders, Mondo. Yeah, thank you so much. Guiding me confidently towards the coffee table, like he confidently guides the Hello Games team towards the game's release. The one true Sean Murray, not thank that baby-faced so loser asshole poser <gasps> from NCIS, oh! made sweet, sweet love to me. I wasn't sure what I was more excited about. Finally, Redacted. Sean Murray, all finally playing No Man's Sky. After exploring the planet's surface, I so entered my stupid. spaceship and took off. Just as I left the atmosphere and burst into the, the breathtaking expanse of space. Redacted. No. No. 
It was Excuse an out of the world me. No. no. Oh, there's more. Oh dear. Oculus Rift support. He uttered sensually. That's my new favorite sentence. Ah! That's my new favorite sentence. Oculus, Oculus Rift, Rift support. support. Oculus mm. Rift support. Oculus Rift he muttered support. sensually. <laughs> he uttered. Oh, he Excuse uttered. You. Okay. Which means he's like, I think. <laughs> Oculus Rift support. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, I got to that. Uh, don't point at me. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so sorry. I won't look. Oculus Rift support. Ooh, ooh, baby. That's the one. Wh- it's good. Okay. As wow. I turned, I saw Sean's avatar standing before me in a beautiful. Oh, this is in-game romance spacing. now. Like Listen, I was a non-believer, but now I'm kind of into it. It's time, everybody. I want this relationship. Everybody. I footsteps slowly enter from the cramped <laughs> office. I Identical jeans. Like this. Suits appear before me in game. <laughs> so good. But as they took off their helmets, I realized that they were all the same. Sean. Mario okay, this was written as a joke. I this is not serious anymore. Oh, you just <laughs> were you like this is serious erotica? I don't <laughs> know. This moment, Kelsey. <laughs> People are wild, it's and true. I would not doubt. It could, it, it could be their reality for sure. <sighs> So silly. But they all had one. A shoe for every foot. (laughs) Redacted. Each Redacted. (laughs) Let's do it. Come on. Wide ones, thin ones. No, don't do this. Curved ones. It was magical. As the Hello Games team began to. Redacted. From somewhere in the room, I heard Sean whisper. The real Sean. Every. Redacted. Procedural. Also, I did a thing on the second channel. Please do check it out. I thought it was quite good. I was like, I love the videos on the second channel. It's some Get that plug. When I check it out. <laughs> I and love that screen recording of just... That's it. Sorry, it took so long. Well, holy moly. Um, That's a lot. This video is everything. There's drama. <laughs> There's an underdog story relatable yes. to everyone. Yes. Um... There's some heartwarming spicy porn at the very <laughs> somewhere in there too. Um, Many memes. Yeah, there's a lot going on. Um, I think I like one. It's it's wonderful to be reminded that like video games are an art form. Yeah, you know, and just that, especially I don't know. We're in a quarantine. We we consume our media so fast, but like. Everything is being made by someone. Mm-hmm. It, it's it's all people at the end of the day, and so it, right. it 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 is. It's so frustrating to not get what we want, and to get so, or and just to get something because some of that early footage looked heinous, like cursed, like bad. But like it it it's still like there's possibly a very nervous man on the other end who who's working really hard. Uh, I do I do like this message of keep your head down, don't yeah. listen to the haters. Yeah. Something something good and cool might come out of it. Yeah. I mean, people did attack them for doing anything. Like they chose oh, they're like, "Okay, we just won't yeah. give you any fuel." Death threats. And they're just like, "Cool, you took the Yeah, cool, oh. you took the money and ran. Like go die." But like I mean, they were like, "We're just we're we'll show you a true like I'll show you <laughs> like story but in real life, which is like yeah. Oh, so stressful to hear about, but I'm so happy that mm-hmm. that things ended well. Yeah. I feel like a lot of times these things don't end well. And I'm glad they're moving on to other it. things as well. Yeah, I, I've seen like little bits of the last game they showed. It's very beautiful looking. I don't know. Cool. I also want to play this game now really bad. I, I need to know. Is it still $60? Oh. We didn't get that information. Oh, to, maybe I'll watch a Let's Play. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I'll check, it out. I'll check it out really quick. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm. Wow. Wild stuff. Mm-hmm. So crazy. Thank you guys so much for joining us for this. Mm-hmm. This wild, wild video game stress ride. Um, and be sure to like and subscribe. And we will see you next time. Bye.